Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how to use Little Sis's Olographer. It'll be the first of several instructional videos that move from basic stuff to things that are a little more advanced. Olographer is a really cool and useful tool that helps us to visualize relationships of power. The Olographer helps us to literally map out these relationships. So what does this mean? Well, let's take an example. Let's say you want to map out a simple power relationship between two entities. Let's pick Donald Trump and Goldman Sachs. And by the way, it is good to have an idea of what you want to try to map out before you begin to create your map. So the first thing you do is go to Add Map right up here at the top. Oh, and if you haven't yet, you should sign up for a LittleSys account so you can use all the cool tools that LittleSys has to offer and which you'll learn all about in this and other instructional videos. Now, the first thing to do is add our first entity, Donald Trump. So you go up here to the upper left where it says Add Node. And you type in the entity, and when you see it, click on it. So there's Donald Trump. But we're mapping out a relationship between him and Goldman Sachs. So the next step is, you guessed it, Add another entity, Goldman Sachs. So there we go. We now have two nodes on our map. And you can even move them around if you want to. It's pretty neat. But let's remember, the important thing we're trying to do here is to map out the relationship between Trump and Goldman Sachs. So what or who connects Trump and Goldman Sachs? Well, a lot of things. But let's take two powerful figures, Gary Cohn and Steve Mnuchin. Both of them are important people in the Trump administration who also used to be powerful people within Goldman Sachs. So let's add Cohn. And let's add Steve Mnuchin. All right, now we really have a power map going. But real quick, let's make Trump and Goldman Sachs a bit bigger on our map, since they're the main entities we're connecting. To do this, click on Trump, and then click here in the upper right to magnify his node. We'll do the same thing with Goldman Sachs. Now, do you notice anything wrong here? Sometimes relationships are already there, like between Mnuchin and Trump. But sometimes they're not, like with Cohn and Trump. But that's okay. We can add it here, though it's only going to appear on the map and not in the LittleSys database. We'll have to add that information later. All you have to do is click on Trump, then hold down your Shift key while also clicking on Cohn. Then, here in the upper right, you can write a label that describes the relationship. We'll put Chief Economic Advisor, since that's Cohn's position in the Trump administration. Now, you can also make an arrow on the connecting line to show the direction of the relationship. In other words, how does one entity serve or relate to another one? You do this by clicking the line. and then adding the arrow here in the upper right. So we'll make an arrow going towards Trump, since Gary Cohn is Trump's economic advisor. We'll remove the highlight, and voila, we really have a power map going now. You can play around with the entities a little bit, and give your own shape to the map. And then we can also give it a title. We'll call this one Trump and Goldman Sachs. And by the way, you should probably hit Save at this point. It's right down here. You can also cut and paste the link and send it around if you want. So go ahead and practice for a little while using what you just learned. And when you're done, Take a look at the next video. We'll show you another great feature of the Olographer, how to turn your maps into slideshows with annotations that actually tell a story. Bye.